Hello everyone and welcome to Neat Mentor. In this video we will discuss about a very important topic which is a, a big highlight at the moment about NRI quota. Okay, NRI quota is it dismissed by the Supreme Court and what may be the consequences for the PG counselling in NEET PG 2024. We will uh, try to understand the complete details, how it started and uh, how it went ahead and uh, what was the final conclusion. Uh, before that if you are new here please do subscribe this channel and uh, you can also access our paid counseling guidance packages where you can get help for nra uh, quota admission as well management quota admission as well and uh, dnb mdms diploma and private college admission as well uh, we have a website neatmentor.co.in and you can join our whatsapp group the link is available in, in the description of the video and you can join our telegram group as well in the previous video we discussed about the seat increment and its uh, impact consequences and in every video we will share the complete update about the ongoing counseling in different states and all india so we will cover that at end okay now let's uh, try to understand what happened in the supreme court and how it came to supreme court so it started uh, from state of punjab in the punjab state mbbs counseling was going on and uh, uh, the government of punjab changed the uh, release the notification because earlier before the notification got released earlier only the parents only the candidate whose parent are uh, nri okay they were eligible to apply as an nri candidate in the state of punjab this rule is also applicable in the state of gujarat in the state of kerala only parents the candidate whose parents are nri uh, can only apply for the nri quota so that rule was there for punjab also now punjab state said that no this rule will be there for uh, th there is a expansion in the criteria okay of nri in the state of punjab means those candidates which aunts okay uncle and their grandparent relative okay means far relative blood relative are nri okay they can also apply for nri now okay so it was challenged in the high court of uh, punjab and high court of punjab dismissed this uh, uh, move by the government of punjab that how we can implement such a rule okay so the petitioner side from the to the government of Punjab what they said that uh, the rule is already applicable in the state of uh, Himachal Pradesh and Uttar Pradesh I don't know how they say that in Uttar Pradesh there is an NRI quota but in Himachal Pradesh is there and in MP in uh, Karnataka in all India and in the state of Bihar is there that the relative of the uh, the relative of the candidate okay whether it's aunt uncle or grand parent relative relative from mother side they can also sponsor the education for nra okay so petitioner side advocates say that this is the uh, base of the uh, notice that other states are doing this way we can also do so it was uh, dismissed by the high high court of punjab now it went uh, in the supreme they went in the supreme court against this dismissal of the uh, notice okay uh, by the high court so they challenge the decision of the high court of punjab in the supreme court now supreme court uh, made a little bit more twist okay they said that now i'll tell you what they said supreme court declared that nri quota system in the college admission to be fraudulent dismissing the punjab government appeal against high court ruling that rejection the amendment rule for the admission mbbs courses through this quota Till now it is going on for MBBS. How it came to MSMD? Okay. When it went to the Supreme Court, these all things get clubbed together, whether it's MBBS or MDMS, any medical PG degree uh, through NRI, they club together and they give a generic statement. Okay. So let me tell you what they said exactly. We will dismiss this. Okay. Let's uh, put a lid on this. We have to put an end to the fraud. The High Court order is absolutely right this is the statement by the justice of uh, supreme court okay and the cgi uh, dy chandra uh, was also available in that hearing this nra business is nothing but a fraud 
and look at the way the state of Punjab did this. Okay, so they're blaming that state of Punjab uh, that they did a kind of thing which increases or give uh, promotes the fraud uh, activities in the uh, NRA admission. In the name of NRA admission, uh, uh, they're saying that it's a NRA business is a fraud. After notification of 9th August on the last date, which is August 1920 issue, you issue a fresh notification expanding the criteria of word. Word means uh, the sponsor, okay, sponsors the education uh, expenses to a candidate. So the candidate is considered as a word. So they expanded the uh, criteria of word. Look at the detailed consequences. The candidates who have three times higher marks will lose the admission. Means the candidate who had uh, 637 we are not able to get the admission and those who had uh, 207 they were able to get admission under the nri quota we lose the uh, admission and all these will come from the back door so they are saying that nra admission is nothing but a back door entry let me tell you some more thing senior advocate abhimanyu bhandari for the original petitioner before the high court pointed that the lead petitioner in the present matter has a scored 202 out of 720 while the non-NRI general category candidate scored 637 marks. He has stated out that the constitution bench in the PA Imandar frowned upon the fact that uh, this is nothing but only a way for the people. Uh, listen it carefully. This is nothing but a way for the people to use money power for people to get in. Means NRI admission, NRI quota is a way to use money power to get admission, uh, cutting down the opportunities of meritorious candidates. Some more things, okay. As per this notification, government of Punjab broadened the meaning of NRI candidate, bringing into its full distance relative of candidates such as uncle, aunts, grandparents, cousins, okay. This High Court bench of Chief Justice Sheel Nagu and Justice Anil Chitrapal on September 11, struck down the notification terming it to be in unjustified as it defeats the original purpose. What is the original purpose of NRA quota? To give genuine NRA a chance to come to India to study. Genuine NRA, the candidate who himself is a NRA uh, to come to India, but uh, they um, they pointed out that it's not happening that way. Rather, it is kind of like a backdoor entry. So ultimately, they are dismissing this plea okay and they are saying that this nri quota or nri quota should come to an end this is the exact statement what they said on the thumbnail i have nri quota fraud must come to an end okay so they say that okay now supreme court says that this nri quota system should be banned and should come to an end so now question mark is will it happen from this year will it happen from next year or what will may be the consequences because we don't have like a final direction that who is going to take care of it how the government is going to take care how the uh, nmc will because nmc has already published the seat details to the colleges internally the colleges already have seat details uh, government college uh, private college deemed in cities in the different branches how many seats are there they already have got it so if they want to implement from this year it will be a very difficult task and it will be time consuming also one more problem how they are going to manage the because these institute private institutes are running on the principle of no profit no loss so suppose take an example of karnataka they have 15% NRI seat, 10% Q quota seat, 25% very high huge tuition fee. If you remove that NRI, so will it be converted into uh, management quota like we have in Rajasthan? Okay, so how it will be and how they are going to run the institutes because it will take time. So what I believe that it might not happen from this year, but it will definitely have a major change in the system from the coming years okay the system the government is also trying to bring a kind of like common platform for the counseling okay uh, but it won't be happening soon uh, two three years back we had 50 percent uh, nmc bill to convert the 50 percent seats in private institute whether it's government whether it's deemed or private uh, on the same tuition fee as the norms of the government for that state and remaining 50 percent seats 
will have higher tuition fee so that didn't happen and uh, it went through the court cases because the college management came against it and it is on hold so this is also like very big change in the medical admission okay wherever huge amount is involved such things will happen and uh, the supreme court has got a uh, catch hold on it and they have given a statement that it should come to an end they have not said that it will come to an end and is coming to an end from this year but there is a clear indication from the supreme court side okay so what may be the consequences we will tell you uh, when we have more clarity okay but this is a like, big thing happening for the for the candidates who are having low score who are targeting nri seats and uh, who are who are not qualified yet but they have their document prepared for NRI and they are planning to go for NRI. So we have to wait and watch okay, when this will happen and when the brochure will happen, brochure will come for MCC and when, uh, one more thing I'll tell you, if it was supposed to happen from this year, they would not have uh, done the NRI conversion and the, this judgment came for after the NRI conversion. So we can't tell that okay, both are related because it came uh, much later after the NRI conversion is done already and the prospectus of different states are published. Uh, so are they going to publish the prospectus again with all these changes? It looks quite uh, impossible for this year. So maybe from next year some changes would be happening. Uh, so we will come to know gradually. So that's all I wanted to share you on if you find this video useful information informative you had got some idea please share with others and do like it and uh, you can also visit for our paid counseling guidance packages. Thanks for watching have a nice day.